Everyone's heard of Tutankhamun and his buried treasure. Well, we're going to follow a treasure map, a real ancient treasure map. And it points us to an amount of treasure so huge, it makes Tutankhamun's tomb look like a junk shop. This is 80. And we're going to be nice to him and get permission to dig on his farm. How you going? G'day Dennis. How's it going? So we're here to dig up your farm, dig up half your farm. I see you got some slave labour for us. Yeah, no, we've got some slave labour uh, and... All we need now is some shovels. I've seen these things in museums. Um, if we get there before five o'clock, I'm going to actually see this thing on site. Now, the quarry that was discovered in the quarry um, two or three hours ago, I don't know. They close at five. If we don't get there, it's somewhere around here. If we don't get there by five, we, I won't get to see this thing until two years away in a museum. Now presumably, the fact that they wrote this map meant that they were intending to come back and get the treasure and take it back to the temple. But for whatever reason, they never returned. So not only the treasure, but the map itself has remained hidden for all these years. Uh, chances are, if you're coming with me in the wilderness, we will have an emergency. It was found right here, on this spot, right here. The Copper Scroll. Well, possibly actually on this spot here. Okay, this is it. This is the Copper Scroll. This is the real thing. Trouble is, no one can read the bloody thing. Well, they can read it, but they can't figure out where the f*** it's pointing you to. If you could understand the directions, it would lead you to 65 tonnes of gold. If you made that into small bars and put them end on end, this big, if you laid them out in a line, you'd probably get most of them stolen. If you can decipher this thing, it's all yours. 